Hey guys, this is Giovanni with Trenches Supply. Today we're going to be going over the Bolden Hydromax machine. We're going to be talking about what comes with your complete set. We're going to be talking about the different attachments and how to use them. And we're also going to be going over maintenance. All right, so when you first get your Hydromax complete set and you open it up, you're going to see that it comes with the motor itself right here. You're going to have centralizers, two options for four inch, a five inch, six, as well as eight inch. It's going to come with two T-slide adapters for your grinding chains as well as Allen key sets for that. You're also gonna get locking plates for your centralizers as well as the hardware uh, required to lock them into place. And you're also gonna get uh, maintenance oil and that's gonna be used after every time you use it to keep your motor fresh. All right guys, so first things first, you're gonna need to put your centralizer on the Hydromax itself. Um, all you're gonna need for that is your centralizer and the smallest Allen key that's gonna come with your kit. And all it is is sliding this on top of the motor you're gonna to wanna to make sure that on the back and on the front, it's as flush as possible. And you're gonna use your Allen key. There's gonna be three screws along the sides of your centralizer here. And you're gonna to wanna to tighten those as tight as you can get it. Once it gets tight, you're gonna to wanna to go and go for a quarter turn and hold it. Make sure that's sat. And then you're gonna rotate it and move on to the next one. There's gonna be three of them in total. When it comes to the centralizers, only with the four inch, you're gonna have the option of two different centralizers. There's this one with bristle brushes on it, and there's just a regular plastic skid. Now, depending on the line and the condition of it, you may prefer one of these to the other. And so for right now, I'm gonna show you, just because it's the only one that's different, how to actually attach this plastic skid. So all you're gonna need is the skid itself, the three silver bolts that are included in your kit. You're gonna use this locking plate. Your kit's gonna come with three of them, but you only need one, as well as the middle-sized uh, Allen key that you get. So first things first, you're gonna notice on your centralizer that there's three divots right here, and it's gonna correspond with three screw holes that are on the front of the Hydromax. So you're gonna to wanna to line these up, slide this over through the front. There's a very specific uh, pattern triangle here that you're gonna to need to line up. Once you have them lined up, you're gonna to need to take your horseshoe uh, locking plate and you're gonna line it up so that way it's able to cover all three holes. Once you have that lined up, go ahead and grab one of your bolts, line it up. And you wanna tighten that all the way down. This is gonna keep that centralizer basically bolted to the front of the Hydromax. It's not gonna go anywhere. That one's all the way on and you'll just repeat for the other two. All right, so now that you have your centralizer attached, we're gonna go over how to attach the milling plates. All you're gonna need for that is the two uh, bolts that come with the kit, they're black, the smaller Allen key, and you're gonna need, in this case, we're gonna be using our Raptor uh, milling blade as well as the Raptor uh, flat top drill. So first things first, you're gonna grab your uh, milling plate as well as your top drill. You're going to want to line those up and you're going to line them up on the front of the Hydromax here. There's going to be two spots where you can screw the bolts in. This is where you're going to put your bolts in. I'll start with one. You're going to want to line it up with the Allen key screw there. And you use your smaller Allen key that's included with the kit. I'm gonna screw that on nice and tight. Same thing, once it's tight, quarter turn and hold it. Make sure it's really on there. Now that you have the one lined up, it'll be much easier to get that second one in. Again, same thing. Once it's tight, quarter turn and hold it. And just like that, you have your milling plates attached. All right, for this section, we're gonna show you how to change from the milling plate adapter to the T-slide adapter, and that's gonna allow you to use these whips here uh, to put grinding chains. Uh, so in this case, we're gonna put the 20 millimeter uh, T-slide coupling, and that's gonna be for this half inch or um, 12 millimeter whip here. So if you notice on the front of the milling head here, there's gonna be a single uh, Allen bolt here, and you're gonna use your smaller sized uh, 
Allen key that's included. And you wanna make sure that when you're doing this, you're using the hardware that's included with this kit. Um, you just wanna be very careful that you're not stripping these bolts and using something like a ball ended Allen key instead. So the kit's gonna come with all the different uh, size Allen keys you need. And we just really recommend that you use that. So once that bolt's undone, that's gonna allow you to slide this milling plate adapter, which you notice has a notch in it. And there's gonna be a notch on the front of this motor here, right here. And so your T-slide adapter is gonna be the same notch right here. And you're gonna to wanna to line that up and it's gonna slide right onto the front. And there's gonna be three Allen key bolts here. And you wanna use your tool. Same thing, tighten those up. Nice and tight. One more here on the bottom. Now that those are nice and tight, you're gonna notice that ends here are gonna be able to just slip on top of one another. So you're gonna line these two sides up. You hear it snap in, you'll be able to physically see the, the nub that was pressed down expand and that's how you're gonna know you're locked in place. Now you're gonna be able to add uh, whatever grinding chains you'd like onto the front here. All right, so guys, in this section, we're gonna go over how to maintain the motor on the Hydromax here. What you're first gonna to wanna to do is turn it like this, the motor side up, and you're gonna to wanna to drain out as much water as possible out of the unit. After you do that, you're gonna to wanna to turn it upside down like this, and you're gonna grab your maintenance oil that comes with your kit, and you're gonna pour some down the hose line here, just straight down, pour some down there, and then still upside down like this, you're gonna to wanna to turn the motor on this end, and you'll even notice out of the ports here where the water comes, you'll start to see some of that maintenance oil come through. Now that whole cycle of putting maintenance oil down and rotating the motor, you're gonna to wanna to do that about three times. And that's gonna allow the motor inside to be fully lubricated and ready for the next go. All right guys, so that's gonna conclude how to use and operate your Hydromax complete system. If you guys are interested, please give our office a call. We can get you a quote for one of these. They are readily available. If you guys like what you see, please give us a follow on social media and you'll be able to see uh, what we have next.